Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I laid this wig. If you're interested in seeing how I laid this wig, make sure you keep watching. Like this video. If you aren't already, hit that subscribe button and turn on your bells for post notifications. Other than that, enjoy the video. Bust down and pick that shit up. Bust down and pick that shit up. Bust it open and pick that shit up. Bust it open and uh, pick that shit up. Hey yo, I've been a bad bitch, Kakiana. And I'm still winning Pacquiana. Oh, so I'm just gonna open it. And that's how it looks. The packaging comes in. And then inside. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, they included some lashes. And then they also included two wig caps. Kind of like the brand that you see at the beauty supply. But it comes in this like net packaging. And then like something to like protect the wig cap. So I'm gonna just take that off. Show you guys. Mm, this don't smell good. No, 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 no. The cap smells this, this, oh my God. Then, ah! The net smells fine. I think it was holding on to my hair. Like, like the net smells fine, but the hair does not smell good. And this just like popped right off. But as you can see, has combs in the back, have like the elastic where you can like fit it towards your head, has a comb on the side, two on the side and one on the front. I just wanted to protect my hair before I put this on because you know like the clips and stuff can get stuck to your hair and it'd be hard for it to come off. But excuse this box. And my forehead is big, so let's see. It's really good with this wig, like. The cap itself is very flexible. I could pull it down as far as I like. You know I see? How it looks, it's how long it is. Where are the baby hairs? I know I'm not tweaking. They say a baby here, so don't esta. Lost baby hairs. Okay, so that's something I'm definitely taking off for because I'm confused. Where are the baby hairs? So the first thing I'm going to be doing is spraying this got to be freezing spray on my wig cap. As you can see, I already did that a little bit. So as you guys can see, I'm going to be cutting out a small piece for where my ear is supposed to go. This just ensures that the back pieces and the front pieces lay flat. And I want to stress to you guys that you have to cut a small piece first throughout the wig cap. Make sure your ear fits in it because you may think your ear is that big, but when the cap expands, it's not going to be that big. I hope you guys can see how cutting a piece out for my ear helped the wig stay flat because if you keep it over your ear, the side pieces will not stay down. This step is optional but I am blow drying the wig cap down um, you can just wait till it dries down naturally but I'm impatient so I'm going to be blow drying it okay so now that you guys see that the wig is completely dry we're gonna start cutting the wig cap so the key to cutting your wig cap is just basically cutting it until you're satisfied if you can pull the wig over your head and not mind the way that the wig cap looks from after you put foundation or whatever on it then that's your preference me personally, I'm going to be pulling the wig a little further forward than my hairline actually is. Um, I have no problem with my forehead. I just don't like the way it looks when I have on wigs. Also, you want to cut it in a way that the front of the wig cap is flat. You don't want those little stragglies hanging off. You want it to be completely flat. You want it to lay down your forehead flat. All right, so like I told you guys, you want the wig cap to lay flat. You don't want those little pieces sticking up. So I'm going to be using some got to be freezing spray and putting those ends down. So now you're looking like, oh, this is new wig cap. What am I gonna do with that? It doesn't look like my hairline. Now is where you bust out your foundation. And if you don't have foundation, I'm not judging you, but bust out some foundation powder, some foundation and spread that along your wig cap.
before you glue that wig onto your head, you want to put it on without the glue. And you want to see, oh, how does it lay? How does it look? Is it to my liking? And if it is, then we're going to start gluing that baby. This step is also optional. I don't have any lace tint, so I'm going to be using my same foundation and putting that on my lace of the wig. And I tried the wig on again, and I saw how it laid, and I was like, yes, this is how I want my wig to look. And when you have that yes moment, that's when you're ready. In order to get the best wig application, you wanna use a cotton pad with alcohol and rub all of the dirt, oil, grease, whatever it is off of your forehead. You want to put the wig on in order to get no hair where the glue lies you want to pull the hair back and you want to pull the whole lace front back as i'm doing right here i'm going to be using this ghost bond glue i got this from amazon i'm pretty sure they have a website or you can buy it from amazon as well in order to apply your wig properly and effectively you want to do this in steps and the first step is to dot the glue right in front of the wig cap. I want to stress that you do not want to put the wig directly onto the wig cap. You're going to ruin the wig, okay? And you want to use a kind of flat object to smear that glue around. You want to spread that glue so it is spread evenly throughout the place where you're going to be laying the wig. When the glue turns clear, that means it's dry and you can either put another layer of glue on or you can put the wig directly on. Personally, I use three layers of ghost bond glue just because I was gonna be wearing this wig for a week so I wanted it to have some staying power. Also, between each application of glue, you could be using a blow dryer to make it dry faster. That's totally up to you. Um, it's, in my personal opinion, the best way to do it. And now we are on to the third and final coat of the Ghost Bond Glue. As you guys can see, right now I'm only doing the middle section. It's because I do this in parts as well. Um, I do the middle first and then I do one side, which may be the left or the right, and then another side. So now we're going to be laying the wig. And a few things you wanna keep in mind when laying the wig. I don't suggest that you use your fingers just because the glue does not react well to that. It come, becomes a white mess when you use your fingers. So I just end up using either a toothbrush, my edge brush, et cetera, et cetera. And as you guys can see, I didn't cut the lace before I laid the wig. This is because I don't want to make any mistakes when it comes to the lace. I don't want the lace to be too short, too long. Um, also, I'm gonna be cutting this little earpiece off. I only needed the little earpiece so the sideburns can stay but now since they are um, down already I can cut those Okay, so now I'm gonna do the sides. I can speed this up since I already explained it to you guys. Um, just know three layers, make sure they're all dry before you apply another layer. And then when that's all finished, go ahead and lay the wig. And after you glue the wig down, um, you can either put a scarf on to lay the wig completely and then cut the lace or vice versa. Um, it all depends on your preference, but I believe I put a scarf down and then cut the lace afterwards. So the next clip, I will not have lace. After a lot of plucking and a lot of cutting, not plucking, after a lot of cutting, this is where I am. Still kind of going to cut some more off at the top. Oh, what, what was the last thing I did that I didn't film? Oh, I already did this part. Stuck me out. Oh, shoot. Dryness. Oh, that's what I was going to do. Gonna go in with an alcohol pad and get rid of the glue on my face. Okay, so this is how I first did the wig. Um, I ended up changing it later that day and I'm gonna show you guys how it looks afterwards. Um, the part was too wide for me and there was a little too much lace and it was kind of giving off the wig vibe. Like you can see the line of demarcation between the edges and the, the wig itself. So wasn't really rocking with it. So I ended up changing it regardless. All right, so boom. <laughs> so basically, it's the next day and I put in four braids overnight and you can see these little hairs coming out because I cut a piece by the ear that stuff hurt 
but I wanted to change, show you guys, like, I changed the part. I'm gonna plug this part, but I thought the other part was way too wide, like, and I didn't realize it until, like, after I had it on that it was way too wide, but, like, I just, like, the part is still right here. I just, like, moved some hair and then folded it over and then got some, like, hot, hot wand and then, like, pushed it down. But I'm gonna just take these braids down. And yeah, it's curly hair, so you want it to be wet. And like the other hairs, I just can fall off. Ugh, it's kind of nasty to think about, but yep, just gonna fall. As you can see, I ended up cutting more lace. Um, the less lace, the more realistic, in my opinion. Like some lace you can get away with, but not a lot. And I feel like previously I had too much, and now I feel like it's still too much, but it's it's better. Also, I didn't give you guys any like final Giselle on the wig. I'm, I'll probably try to do that by the end of the week, though. I kept wanting to like pick it out, but I asked Destiny, she was like, no, no, pick it out. Like, you're so used to your big hair. I'm like, yeah, yeah. But, okay, final rundown of this hair for right now. It does shed a lot, like if you wash your hair like you're supposed to before you get it. I mean, when you get it, you're gonna have like a lot of hair shedding problems. And I mean, that's fine because it didn't shed that much, but like I don't like hair shedding. Like that's, it's hmm, annoying. Okay, let me get my comb because this parting is pissing me off. Let's, let's go through this part again. <laughs> this is going to happen. Hair needs to be cut, but I really, really, really do not feel like looking this hair. Like, it just sound like, don't sound like something interesting to me right now. So guys, it's been about a week that I've had this hair in now, and I think I'm ready to give my final review, final impressions, my opinion, whatever. Um, so I know you guys heard that me saying like the other parts of the video that this hair sheds a lot, and this hair sheds a lot. Like, I swear to God, I can lay in the bed and find like 10, 15 pieces of hair in the bed. Like this hair sheds so much, and the thing about it is not as dense. Like the hair density not there so if it's, it's if it's gonna just keep shedding at the end of the day it's gonna look like real real small it is a lot of hair but at the same time it's just shedding so like also second thing these are not the curls that i started off with like i don't know how it started to look like this but it's not at all close to how it looked when i first got the wig like i'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong, but I cannot match the same hair pattern, curl pattern. Like it's not coming back. And I don't know if the pieces are just clumped together and I'm actually scared to like sit there and do it cause it's just making it look more fuzzy. Like you guys may or may not be able to see this, but like it don't look curly, it looks fuzzy. Like water should make it go back to its original curl pattern. So why isn't it back? As you guys know, like when I first opened the hair, like it stunk, like the hair did not smell good. I washed it and that smell went away. It's kind of just something that takes you off, takes you off back in the first, like in the beginning when you're like first doing stuff with the hair. But I mean, it would be nice for the hair to smell good. But I would condition, wash whatever your wigs anyway once you get them, just because you don't know where they could have been. The lace is very, very, very like sensitive, gentle. Like if I do, if I like lay my edges on the lace, the lace would like glue to, to it's just the lace is very sensitive as y'all can see well this is kind of glue but the lace has been like but you can't even really see it but like right here the lace was like breaking off and that's kind of like what the glue did to it whatever but yeah about this ghost bond so i'm i'm damn near a sweater like when i get in situations i sweat like i tend to perspirate and the ghost bond 
held until today literally until today so it held about six days i did put three coats um the sides were always coming up like the sides they did not rock with me at all so they were always coming up but the, this part did not start like coming like moving up or like shifting back until today but i still wore the wig anyway i went to the mall but i'm damn near just gonna take this ah, ah, ah. what else did i have to say about the hair sheds a lot the laces not close to my skin color there were no baby hairs like i had to create my own and i didn't end up cutting the hair because i don't know if i want to make changes like that um there were no baby hairs what else did i have to say the curl pattern will come back so really i give this hair like a seven six seven out of ten just because all of the like I like the wig itself, but I don't like what happened to the wig. I don't like that it sheds. I don't like that it's the curl pattern is shed. Like I don't like the color of the lace. Like it wasn't the best, but it wasn't the worst. And yeah, that's really just all about this wig. Those are my opinions. That's my final review. Seven out of ten, maybe a six out of ten. Um other than that. If you like this video, definitely give this video a thumbs up. If you are not already, make sure you are subscribed. Turn your post notifications on. Just click that bell and make sure you're notified every time I post a new video. And other than that, I will see you guys in the next video.